Assalamu alaikum. I hope you guys are doing well. So, M1 students, big day tomorrow. Finally, uh, it's exam day and uh, I just wanted to give you a couple of tips and tricks before the exam and obviously wish you guys the best of luck. So, first of all, I hope every piece of content that we made, every piece of content, notes, everything uh, helped you guys. That's That was the main objective and um, Inshallah, those of you who have uh, P3 after this or S1 after this, there will be more streams for that. But anyway, uh, more about M1 and more about the big day tomorrow. So first of all, make sure that you have all the relevant stationery with you. You have plenty of pens, uh, mainly black and blue, a pencil, very important, an eraser, a scale, a calculator. And also, uh, before you start the exam, make sure that you reset your calculator as well. Now, we will we'll talk about more during the exam. Let's talk about what you need to do before the exam. So before the exam, if you're feeling a lot of anxiety and you feel like you want to do something, you want to do something productive, you know, there may be a point where we feel almost guilty uh, if we're not studying. So if you worked hard throughout, throughout the year, then it's absolutely okay to feel that. I know you just want to make the most of every minute, every second that you have left. So the max that I would recommend is maybe solve, uh, sorry, not solve a fast paper, don't do that in fact. Maybe go through the notes, maybe go through the papers that you've solved. So I just got done with the stream. Maybe you guys can watch that, you know, go over the difficult questions that I've solved. But do not test yourself, okay? Do not attempt something that you haven't done. Don't be like, okay, this is a new past paper, let's solve this. Okay, this is something that I haven't done before, let's try this. Don't do that. Otherwise, you'll just go into a state of panic. You'll end up making matters worse, okay? Uh, secondly, what I would like to say is just disconnect yourself from social media. There may be, I know this year there have been so many news about so and so paper getting leaked. I'm not by any way, by any means saying that M1 is leaked or anything, but you never know. Uh, there may be some rumors, people might end up sending you fake screenshots. So don't fall for that. So just disconnect yourself. Whatever happens, will hap let it happen tomorrow. There's nothing you can do about it right now. Okay, so disconnect yourself and uh, just spend time with yourself go over your notes like i said if you really feel like studying otherwise i would suggest just lie down go to bed uh, go to sleep okay get a good night's sleep m1 you need a fully functioning brain in m1 maybe not in p1 as much as you need in m1 why because you know there are so many areas where you have to think outside the box before you can solve a question uh, like for example, maybe in momentum related questions, in kinematics related questions. I mean, you guys, you guys probably would agree with me that uh, there are so many questions where you really have to think hard and uh, to be able to realize that what it is that you have to do. Okay, so for that you need a fully functioning brain and for that you need a good night's sleep. So, you know, stay hydrated, get a good night's sleep, make sure that you uh, have a good breakfast. If that's something that you do every morning, however, it's, that's not something you do every morning, then don't do anything that's out of routine, just stay in routine but do get a good night's sleep. You need a fully functioning and a relaxed mind. Now, during the paper, uh, once the paper starts, be mentally prepared for a couple of difficult questions. That's perfectly all right. If there are plenty of difficult questions, that means the threshold will definitely uh, take into account. But don't start worrying about the threshold right now. Right now, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, you can't control the difficulty level of the paper. You can't do anything about the threshold. You can't, You, you what you can do is basically how you spend these last couple of hours and these last couple of hours will literally make or break how you perform in the exam okay so you want to be extremely extremely careful so yeah go through the paper be mentally prepared for a couple of difficult questions when you're attempting the paper remember to make a rough sketch i mean we've solved some past papers we've gone over examiner reports we've seen how the examiner wants students to make a rough sketch and the examiner says that students who do make a rough sketch are better able to interpret the question and are better able to solve it as well so make a rough sketch whether you're dealing with kinematics whether you're dealing with momentum whether you're dealing with forces if you're dealing with forces then make sure that you make a sketch where you break down all the forces you show all the forces in which in the direction that they're acting and um, if an object is about to move down, then show that with double arrows so that you know that friction will be acting in the opposite direction. So these are just some very specific cases that I'm talking about. And generally, I would say just be careful, you know, go the extra mile. If you have to do some extra working, then do that extra working. If you know this working will help you, uh, will prevent you from making an error. Uh, if let's say there's a question where you have to find out area under the curve, you guys know you can do it in your calculator directly to ch check your answer, okay? Emphasis on the word check. So we only do it to check your answer. You can solve simultaneous equations. You can solve quadratic equations. You can do area under the graph. You can differentiate also. Okay, so I've talked about that in P1. Uh, I'm sure you guys are already aware. If not, nothing to worry about. You can YouTube it right now. And even if you're not aware of, the, uh, even if you don't want to do that right now, that's perfectly all right. Just do it the normal way. So. Then when you are doing the paper, just check as you go along. You won't have time towards the end. Don't leave anything for the end because like I said, you won't have time for it. 
it's best that you check as you go along in m1 timing can be a major major issue not as much as it is in p1 even not as much as it is in s1 but in m1 it can be a major problem because you have to think the working is also sometimes very lengthy so it can be a major problem so don't waste time don't look around and see what so and so person is doing or why so and so person is not doing anything that's a total waste of time just focus on your paper think of it this way that it's just you and your paper and that's it there's nobody else in the hall okay and if let's say during the exam you have a panic attack i really hope that's not the case but god forbid if you do then just take a few deep breaths just drink some water and gradually inshallah your senses will come back and then you can restart okay so just just be positive with yourself you know before starting the paper just you know just motivate yourself just have a little pep talk with your own self that you know the paper is i'm going to ace the paper inshallah or i'm going to do well in the paper i've worked really hard for it and you know then uh, inshallah it will definitely make a difference so yeah uh, if uh, in between you get an answer which is not exact remember to give it at least correct to four or five significant figures if you're using that to get to the final answer and in the end give your answer correct to three significant figures but during this time throughout make sure that you're reading the question carefully unless the question has a specific requirement if you're asked to maybe find out the resultant and the direction then be careful about how you give the direction be specific be very clear so think of it from the perspective of the examiner that if you want Uh, if you are the examiner you're the person who's checking the paper how would you like the solution to present to be presented to you obviously the way that you would like it is to be neat to be organized so that's how you should do it as well so keep that in mind if let's say you run out of space or something then um, or if let's say you do something wrong then please don't overwrite it that's something that they highly discourage and don't do the paper in pencil thinking that you'll have enough time to do uh, to pen it out later you won't like i said timing can be a major problem in m1 so what i would like you to do is is um, do it in pen and uh, show all the rough working also and if you get something if you write something wrong don't cross don't overwrite it cut it out and do it again there is an extra page at the back in case you get a question wrong and you know you don't have enough space you can do it there but make sure that you mention it clearly that's very important just make sure that you mention it clearly and uh, do that and inshallah you'll be fine so yeah that's it i hope i haven't missed anything uh, just just relax okay uh, remember me and the entire team of mathlete in your prayers remember your parents your siblings everyone your school teachers also obviously tuition teachers everyone who has basically been a part of this journey everyone who has helped you uh, directly or indirectly in this journey of yours remember them in your prayers and uh, just enjoy the paper you know it's very important that you do that it's very important that you don't um, you know don't make a big deal out of it you enjoy it and inshallah that's the way that you will do well in it also so yeah that's it i will stop here uh s1 and p3 students i'll see you guys inshallah in the next stream starting from tomorrow or maybe not tomorrow maybe day after tomorrow but yeah anyway i'll see you guys soon inshallah take care and allah hafiz